Well, I think John Foley had messages that are so relevant for us. You know, the idea of do you want to be here, first of all, it's so cool. I mean, we believe you only go around the track once in life. You owe it to yourself to enjoy the journey, which is, you know, do you want to be here? Things were so far beyond my expectations, I'm, I'm floating on a cloud. John hit all of the points we had talked about, but it was the inspiration and it was the connection point. You know, it's a difficult thing to connect Blue Angel intensity to an ice cream business in our case. Uh, but it happened. I could see it in people and I saw the body language in the audience and we made the connection, which is what we were after. He didn't speak to a company, he spoke to 600 individuals and that's a difference. Uh, we didn't throw out corporate jargon, we drove each and every point home to you. What are you going to do? How to supply you? And we broadened it up to the personal level as well. And so that's when it hits home. That's when it's not somebody who looks like they're being paid to chant the corporate mantra, but instead to improve people as individuals. I didn't know what to expect, you know. Um, came in and kind of was blown away. First of all, you know, the video content and seeing how he related that to, and I was so impressed with how much he understood Accenture's culture. Because he was able to tie it into things that, I'm like, he knows what he's talking about. It's not just catchphrases that he's picked up upon, he gets us. You when you have certain beliefs, you have certain hunches, things that m magnify you and you get magnified because of them, uh, you know, that's when you get to this high performance zone, right? And when you're in the high performance zone, um, you're achieving things that are just incredible. If you raise your level of, of what you believe you can achieve, the performance will follow. That statement resonated with me, mainly because that's the challenge we have, is, is complacency. How do we get out of this uh, thinking that we've, we've accomplished everything we want to accomplish? If you raise that level of belief, then the results will come. Definitely gone today from, you know, moving from inform to inspire. If you can go in and be passionate about something, you know, diplomatic, but passionate, you know, direct, polite, but be passionate about it. I think you stand, you know, a better chance than any of our competitors in doing it. Because at the end of the day, you know, back to John's analogy, right? You know, it's three feet away. That's the client looking at you saying, you've got to get me there and I trust you. I was talking with my boss uh, uh, earlier in the week about how we get better at really doing uh, what we call the post-mortems on decisions we've made and understanding them better. And one thing that occurred to me while he was talking was that, you know, perhaps it isn't about doing the real deep post-mortem on a topic. Maybe it's about doing a whole bunch of small ones kind of every day or every week or whatever that frequency is. So uh, being able to debrief frequently on what happened and being honest about it uh, over time might be better than doing the real deep dive periodically. So uh, I think that's something we need to think about incorporating in, 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 uh, in this probably several walks of our business. So I see a lot of application with that concept. Um, I do believe that people are only as good as they believe they can be. So I think as a company, we need to um, understand how good we can be and make sure that we're driving ourselves there. Uh, I think his, his uh, message about the leader stepping up first and saying, these are the two or three things that I could have done better is tremendous because it breaks down the walls. Then the people on the team know it's all right, and in fact, it's expected for you to share with the rest of your team, what could I have done better? He, he's obviously done an excellent job. He spent a lot of time with a, a lot of um, our key leaders and, um, and has really done an excellent job of articulating um, not only sort of his vision for how management should work, but integrating that with their vision for the company and, and making it clear how those things work very well together, how we can use some of his techniques to achieve um, the vision that our leaders have set forth. It's inspirational. So when you see that somebody will share that with you and say, by the way, you can use this in the clothing business or the restaurant business. Here's how it works, it's pride, it's excellence, where do you choose the people, and uh, it's exciting. It's exciting for the listeners to say, you, you mean I could be maybe a part of a team like that? A participant? Whoa.